Larry Zonka played the game that features all those hard K's. Nagurski, Ditka, Nitschke, Butkus, Grabowski, Gronkowski. And as tough, as ornery, as mean as any of them was Zonk, the Ohio farm boy, the hard K, who came to Syracuse to play football and break noses, or break his trying. He was straight out of central casting, Zonka was. Born on Christmas Day and weighing 150 pounds as a 12-year-old, he looked like a fullback rushing for more than 11,000 yards as a collegiate and a pro, and scoring 90 total touchdowns on both stages, he ran like a fullback. Being named an All-American twice and a Pro Bowler five times and getting inducted into both the College and Pro Football Halls of Fame, he bowled over people like a fullback. Famous for leading the Miami Dolphins to a pair of Super Bowl titles, Zonka first did his battering thing at SU where he averaged 105 rampaging yards on the ground per game during his college career, or more than did any of those celebrated 44s, Jim Brown, Ernie Davis, Floyd Little. His three orange teams went a cumulative 23 and eight. They finished in the UPI's top 20 each season. They beat, among other clubs, Pittsburgh, West Virginia, and Boston College three times, Penn State twice, Florida State, UCLA, and Baylor once each. Oh, and his staying power? Larry Zonka remains, nearly 50 years after his last carry for SU, its fourth leading all-time rusher as a fullback. You know, it's been said that Zonk, a giver and receiver of pain, broke his nose at Syracuse and in the pros a total of 10 times, and he never sat out. It was also said by an admirer that when Zonko's on safari, the lions roll up their windows. Larry Zonka, hard K, hard man.